Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My channel is welding entity inspection related all topics will be available here. This is regarding top 27 question for CWI. You know the AWS certified welding inspector interview or exam questions. This is the very important question 27 question. Each question have answer but answer you cannot find out in the in each page you have you can find out the answer sheet at the last of the of this video so you do one thing each question have a correct answer you, you take one paper and put on maybe in first question a b c d four option so you can choose option c or option b so you can take on on pen and write down if it is one a or one c one c then you have to put one c uh, in the paper, in the each question you have to find the right answer, and in the last you can see that your answer and the whatever the correct answer is matching or not. So it will be very interesting for you. So let's start. One, if the specified root face for joint A. In figure 1.2 is 1 8 in, what is the range of root face permitted for this joint? A. 1 slash 12 into 3 16 in. B. 1 16 into 3 16 in. C. 1 16 into 1 8 in. D. 1 8 into 3 16 in. Two. If the specified root opening for joint B in the figure 1.2 is 3 16 what is the range of root opening permitted for this joint? A. 0 to 7 16 in B. 1 16 to 3 8 in C. 3 16 to 7 16 in D. 1 8 to 7 16 in Three drawings and specifications should be reviewed. A. Prior to welding. B. During welding. C. After welding. D. All of the above. Four preheat temperature should be measured. A. One in from the end of the joint. B. The thickness of the joint but no less than three in from the joint at the beginning of the joint. C. At six in intervals along the length of the joint. D. The thickness of the joint but no less than three in from the joint along the entire length of the joint. Five hold points are a established after fabrication is accomplished. B established by the fabrication department. C points where fabrication is put on hold. D points where an inspection and acceptance is required prior to accomplishment for any further fabrication. Six. What discontinuities can be found by visual inspection? A. Undercut. B. Cracks. C. Underfill. D. All the above. Seven. A discontinuity is A. Always a defect. B. Always a reject. C. Always acceptable. D. Rejectable if it exceeds code limits. E. None of the above. 8. 
whether a particular weld discontinuity is critical can be judged on the basis of a. whether it is surface or subsurface b. whether it is linear or nonlinear c. whether it has sharp end condition d. all of the above e. none of the above Nine. What discontinuity is considered to be most serve? A. Porosity. B. Incomplete fusion. C. Slag inclusion. D. Crack. E. Arc strike. Ten. Which of the following discontinuities is less likely to be found visually? A. Toe crack. B. Undercut. C. Lamellar tear. D. Overlap. E. None of the above. Eleven, underbead cracks can result from which of the following welding practices? A. Use of wet electrodes. B. Welding on contaminated steels. C. Welding over paint. D. All of the above. E. None of the above. Twelve, the weld discontinuity that results from improper termination of the welding arc is referred to as A. Undercut B. Overlap C. Crater crack D. Incomplete fusion E. All of the above Thirteen of the following processes, which is unlikely to have slag inclusion in a complete weld. A. SMA. B. PA. C. FCAW. D. SAW. E. None of the above. 14. The discontinuity that results from the entrapment of gas within the weld cross section is referred to as A. Crack B. Slag inclusion C. Incomplete fusion D. Porosity E. None of the above 15. What weld discontinuity results when the welder travels too slowly? causing excess weld metal to flow out of the joint and lay on the base metal surface without fusing a undercut b underfill c overlap d incomplete fusion e none of the above 16 what weld metal discontinuity results when the welder fails to completely fill the weld groove? A. Undercut B. Underfill C. Overlap D. Incomplete fusion E. None of the above 17 Excessive weld metal buildup on a groove weld is referred to as A. Excessive convexity B. Excess weld reinforcement C. Overfill D. All of the above E. None of the above 
18. The weld discontinuity that results from the initiation of the welding arc outside the weld joint is referred to as a. Incomplete fusion b. Undercut c. Overlap d. Arc strike Nineteen. What weld discontinuity show up as a light region on a radiograph? A. Porosity. B. Tungsten inclusion. C. Slag inclusion. D. A and B above. E. B and C above. Twenty. Which of the following is not a base metal discontinuity resulting from improper steel making practices? A. Lamination B. Lamellar tear C. C. D. Pipe shrinkage E. None of the above 21. What is the maximum allowable convexity for a weld of 11 sixteenths in actual face width? A. 1 16th in B. 1 8th in C. 3 16th in D. 1 4th in 22. A welder has been qualified for groove welding using a 2 in Schedule 80 pipe test coupon in the 2G position. Is the welder qualified for the welding of 4 in Schedule 80 pipe? A. Yes. B. No. C. Yes, but not in 5G or 6G positions. 23. For the qualification of question 22 above, could electrodes of classification E7028 be used if the pipe conform to API 5 LGRX52? A. Yes. B. No. C. Yes, but not in 5G or 6G positions. 24. For one minus a half in CJP groove welds in plates, of ASDM A572 GR60 what preheat and interpass temperature is required? A. 150 degree F B. 175 degree F C. 225 degree F D. 300 degree F 25. What is the F number for ER4043 electrode conforming to AWS specification A5.10? A. F6. B. F21. C. F23. D. F22. 26. When the weld is parallel to the primary stress the allowable undercut is A. 1 16th in B. 0 0.01 in C. 1 32nd in D. Not allowed 27. What is the measurement indicated on the instrument in figure EQ 4.5? A. 10.87 B. 15.78 C. 18.70 D. 78.70 Now the all questions are finished. Total 27 questions uh, are there. So you can find out the next page in the answer sheet. This is the answer sheet. You can find out all answer question 1 to question 27. If you have any query for these uh, questions, if you have any doubt, any answer, you have find out that this answer should not be that, this should not be this, 
So uh, you have any comment, just uh, comment in YouTube box. I'll explain to you. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel to get regular updates and new videos. Thanks a lot.